James Tracy here, Master Club Fitter, Second Swing Golf. We're here in the Minnetonka Tour Van. It's about 10 degrees outside, so it kind of marks the end of our golf season. So you know, we thought that we'd kind of recap the year 2018, especially kind of some of the newer iron models that came out this year and some of the successes that we had um, in our hitting bays. Um, and you know, keep in mind a lot of these 2018 models are gonna live as, as great value options going forward. Obviously, second swing, we uh, pride ourselves on selection, not only on the brand new side, which you'll find here in our tour van, with over 50,000 combinations of heads and shafts, but you know, a lot of times players are seeking us out for those use sets. So as these particular options in 2018 kind of move into their uh, second and third generation, um, you know, we wanted to kind of highlight some of those things that we really found were uh, really winning in, in our fitting bays this year. And, and so one of the cool um, additions to irons this year uh, was kind of that hollow body iron design. You know, I think if I, five years from now, I look back at 2018 from an iron standpoint, you know, 2018 is gonna really mark um, the, the genesis of these companies developing uh, that distance player's iron that not only goes far, but looks and feels more like a traditional blade. And so irons like the TaylorMade P790, uh, the Ping I500, the Titleist AP3, you know, those three irons in general um, really um, grabbed on to a niche golfer that uh, for a long time didn't really have an iron to play. You know, those players that wanted that traditional look uh, traditional feel, control, workability, knew that they were giving up distance to the game improvement irons that were appealing for you know, anybody that wants to hit the ball a little bit further. And so that hollow body design uh, from those types of irons in the 790, the AP3, and the i500 from Ping really have allowed designers to keep the head size more traditional for that better player preference but allows them to pick up some distance and some higher launch to really create a mid to longer iron performance that's really helping players shoot lower scores. So those were really fun irons, not only to hit, um, but to fit with this year. Um, and you know, along those lines, you know, obviously um, the, the forge category becomes a really popular one, uh, especially in this room when players are looking to be dialed in for that you know, the latest and greatest, and really looking for a custom head shaft combination that really wins in their golf bag. And you know, brands like Mizuno and Titleist came through really strong again this year uh, with the 919 and 718 uh, models, respectively. You know, AP2 continues to be. Um, you know, that true forged player's iron that really uh, a lot of other companies compare their irons to. Mizuno's really come out of its shell in creating both that MP and JPX model um, that really appeals to the traditional Mizuno guy as well as the modern Mizuno player like a Brooks Kepka. So they've really done a great job at providing players of all handicaps and all aesthetic preferences a great platform to choose from. So we had a lot of fun fitting with the Mizuno product. Um, and, you know, a newcomer to the Forge game this year, which really found, uh, added a lot of performance and benefit for players were the new Strixon irons. Um, the 585, uh, 785 models really allow players who are looking for a forged iron, a great matrix. You know, I had a lot of players that, you know, traditionally wouldn't probably be thinking about a forged club that maybe played more bogey golf, but wanted that experience of hitting a forged club, really had great success with that, that 585 Strixon. So, you know, those three uh, brands really did a great job in the forged category. And then where most of us live, is that game improvement I and mean, we always want to improve but you know the, the mass of our players that come in for fittings or purchase equipment are looking for something that's more forgiving great for distance uh you know there were some definite leaders in that category you know callaway did an amazing job with the rogue and rogue x irons uh creating distance creating forgiveness and creating a lot of really neat technology to give players that that great benefit of, of longer yardage, high uh, peak height, and good stopping power. You know, Ping is always classic uh, in this category with their G series irons. You know, adding that G700 um, and the Rogue X would could add compared for that more super game improvement category. Um, and then the G400 and the Rogue were definitely our two top contenders in that kind of game improvement realm. Players who play that bogey golf want something that you know inspires some confidence at address 
Um, those two irons really did a great job. Uh, Mizuno even came into the mix with that hot metal iron. You know, the 919 hot metal was really surprising in our hitting bays, really kept up from a distance standpoint and, and still made, you know, that higher handicapper feel like they were getting that Mizuno look and feel. So that was a surprise iron for us this year. You know, I hope that, you know, this helps you guys maybe kind of filter through some of those options as you uh, start to look at irons this winter or even into next year. Uh, we know that a lot of the new 2019 irons are, are probably in the final stages of development. So we're always anxious to see what 2019 will bring. But 2018, as far as irons are concerned, was a banner year for a lot of manufacturers. And certainly we had a lot of success and a lot of enjoyment uh, helping players get better with the offerings that came out this year. So thanks for watching. You know, enjoy, uh, enjoy the winter, however you will, and make sure you stop by Second Swing or check out secondswing.com for all your club needs.